friends, so welcome back to our enrichment series and today we're going to be looking at something a little less natural to the macaws, which is man-made enrichment like toys and foraging boxes. These are all made from natural materials like wood and rope, however they are not things that they would find in the wild like the fruits and nuts that we've been providing them. Enrichment is not just about providing something that the macaws will interact with, but things that will change their behaviour. Enrichment is not just considered a success by how much interaction and attention it is paid, but how much it changes the macaws' behaviour. And it is inevitable, really, that food enrichment is going to get a greater interaction than toys. Basically, little interaction does not mean little change in behaviour, resulting in most new enrichments being successful. Toys are about more than just food behaviours. Today, we'll see these toys being played with by the macaws. Toys generally mix up the macaws' environment, providing something new to explore, helping prevent habituation in their environment. We want our macaws to remain engaged and also hesitant so they will never really know what's around the next corner, just like they would in the wild. By providing predictable things for prolonged periods of time, the macaws can lose interest, meaning that they are habituated. Therefore, new toys and new types of toys and enrichment keeps them engaged in their environment. Toys can come in all shapes and sizes, ranging from stairs coming up to the roof of the aviary, hanging toys providing wood to be chewed on to help maintain their beak strength and the keratin layer on the outside. Also, toys can provide a puzzle. Maybe with a piece of bamboo, you can drill some holes in that. With the empty cavity inside, you can fill with food enrichment that they don't really know that's there. However, once they've learned to remove the branches from the holes, this will reveal the prize, and it stimulates the mind of the macaws and they become problem solvers. Toys can come at the creativity of the keeper, meaning that with every new group of volunteers that comes, new ideas arrive and new exciting toys keep our macaws engaged and aware of the environmental changes. With the macaws' intelligence being compared to three to five-year-old children, you can understand why new enrichment is so important. You can see how our macaws are all interacting with these toys differently. Man-made toys are different every time. It's probably almost impossible to create the exact same thing every time, which is why these are great to put into our aviaries. Foraging boxes are almost a constant thing for all of our birds. However, we continually fill them up with different man-made or food enrichments, ensuring that those foraging boxes are not something that they become habituated with. The box itself is great for chewing because they're made from wood, but also we add new things into them, maybe wood chippings, branches, even rounds of wood, to keep them engaged. So by refilling this box, it prevents habituation with the foraging boxes, which is the most ideal thing, really. And I hope you really enjoyed seeing our macaws play with these toys. As you can see, they really thoroughly enjoyed it too. And we'll see you again very soon. Stay safe.